Welcome to a few days in my life. I have five days until I want to be back in Whitehorse. So we've come out here to the mountains to just see what we can get up to and enjoy our time together. We've had a really nice morning so far, just taking it slow and enjoying being out in the mountains again. But we have a real mixed bag of weather forecasted for the next few days. And so since today is nice, I'm gonna take Frank for a chariot ride. So we have to drive about a half hour north uh, to a trail that I was told will be wheeled accessible for quite a while so we can go out for a nice uh, long walk together. Well, we've made it to the first uh, creek crossing. I'm not gonna be able to get Frank across and it's already been pretty rough for a while. So we're gonna head back, go find somewhere to camp and make a nice dinner if it's still not raining because I'm pretty sure tomorrow is gonna be a rain day. Do you have a good time, Frank? Yeah, lots of sniffs. We're gonna head back now. So I headed north along the lake and I found this spot to spend a night or two. I do have a bunch of computer work to do and I think tomorrow is going to be rainy. So this has nice views, although I did have to park strategically so that I could cook because it's quite windy and it's actually really cold. So as soon as this meal is cooked, I'm going to be closing the doors and turning on the heat. I am so stoked to have lots of diesel <laughs> and lots of power. So we'll both to stay toasty the rest of tonight. But yeah, it's got it's got nice views all around. And um, I'm not too far from the highway, but I don't really notice it when I'm in my van. So it'll be fine. But I'm definitely looking forward to having warm meal with vegetables. And yeah, just uh, have something cooked on the stove before it turns to rain. And I won't want to be outside cooking. Uh, I fell asleep uh, trying to warm up. It took me a long time to get warm. I just totally crashed after eating. Uh, so I missed sunset. It's like quarter to nine. It's pretty much dark out. Uh, but I woke up, I realized my van is just such a mess. It's just, it's horrible. I haven't even put my laundry away from in town like four days ago when I did laundry. So I think I'm going to put on some music and I'm just going to like clean up everything in here. It should be like an hour if I don't get distracted and then can have a cozy evening. All right, so my van is clean. It took me a little more than an hour. I did get, um, 
a little more in depth than I planned, but when my van is a mess, I can't do anything productive. I can't even rest productively. And then I spend all my time right here in like the front corner of my van. But now I can hang out back here. I like hanging out back here, but I let it get messy sometimes and then I don't, but I have tons of books and just nice things to look at. And I prefer working here. And I also cleaned up down here so I can actually put my feet down and sit, which will be a lot easier on my knees. So it was a great success. Yes, great success. And I made myself a little turmeric latte now that my van is clean and I can be cozy. I bought this uh, bag of turmeric latte mix. Last time I was in the Gulf Islands hanging out with Flossie. Reminds me of them. It's golden yellow. But uh, I haven't tried it yet, so I don't even know if I'm going to like it. Well, it tastes healthy. <laughs> Glad I put the honey in, but it'll be good for me. Hi, did you drop this? Is that what you want? I'll entertain you. Do you want something different now? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like quarter past ten. I think I'm just going to hang out. I'm just going to be hanging out this evening. I'm probably going to do a whole bunch of little things as I tend to do. Yeah, we'll see what we get up to tomorrow. It's going to depend on the weather. Uh, it's future Amanda here. I have a new shirt from the free store. And uh, yeah, I'm letting you know that I did get up to some stuff the next day. It wasn't rainy like I expected, but unfortunately due to some technical errors, I wasn't able to properly color correct that footage to the point where I'd be willing to put it in this video. So what I've done is I've taken all the footage from that day and I've put it together as a mini vlog that is available for free on my Patreon. It is a public post, uh, so you do not have to be a paying member of my Patreon to access it, although I really appreciate if you are. So I will put the link to that uh, like mini vlog episode just down below. It'll be right below the link to today's sponsor, who is Element. And if you haven't heard me talk about Element before, Element is a super tasty electrolyte drink mix that I really, really enjoy. I've been drinking electrolytes for six or seven years now and Element is by far the tastiest I've ever tried. This flavor is watermelon salt, which is my current favorite but there are so many different great flavors depending on your preferences. And not only does it taste amazing, but it has a science-backed blend of electrolytes consisting of 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. I am somebody who often will get cramping due to not replenishing my electrolytes when I'm hiking. And in that instance, I usually will crave bananas because they're a good source of potassium. Although I don't really like eating bananas, which is why I much prefer just to drink Element. I'm also not great at drinking plain water and so then I tend to get dehydrated. So having the flavor just helps me enjoy drinking enough water, but also replenishing your electrolytes is really important because it helps with things like setting nerve impulses, regulating metabolism, hormone regulation, and helps prevent headaches and cramping, which I've been doing very well with lately. Element has been a super easy addition to my water routine, and I think you'd really like it as well. So whether or not you've already tried Element before, you can go to drinklmnt.com slash Tideline to Alpine and choose a box of any flavor you think you would like. And with it, you will get a free sample pack that consists of all eight flavors so you can give them a try and figure out what you would like next because like I said you get the sample pack with every single purchase as long as you go to drinklmnt.com slash Tideline to Alpine and this deal is only available through Element partners like myself and they have a great no hassle money back guarantee so there's really nothing to lose unlike me losing a little bit of footage because I messed up with uh, camera settings on my new phone so 
If you want to see that segment, like I said, go to my Patreon. And now let's get back to the day after. I've just stopped to get gas and some chips because I can and I don't really know where I'm going so I figure it's better to have more gas than less but yeah, it just feels so weird here. I think partly because I'm here after it would be busy so it feels like kind of empty vibe but also like the pumps are really old and it's like windy so there's just like metal rattling in the wind and it feels I don't know it has this like sense of like afterness of the after something yeah maybe it's just like feeling winter knocking on the door I'm still up here I haven't ever stayed up here this long the weather's just kept being so nice it hasn't made sense to leave plus there's no mosquitoes and all the tourists have cleared out, so it's really easy to be alone now. It is chilly here. I'm wearing a long sleeve and a puffy under this fleece. Uh, this one has holes in, which is why I wear it by the fire. And then I'm wearing two pairs of pants. And I'm probably like an hour from the border with Alaska. So I've been slowly making my way northwest over the past few days. And every time I stop and get out, it is colder. So yeah, the fire is nice though. Nice fire, nice view, got the river and plenty of mountains. Although as I came this way there was like this wall of clouds and it kind of seems like it's moving over top so 
I don't know if it'll end up being good for stargazing or for Aurora, but the moon was really bright the past few nights. It was a full moon just like a few days ago. So uh, that kind of, there was like Aurora last night, but the moon was just so bright. Like it just didn't feel worth hanging outside <laughs> or like trying to film it. Like technically I could have got it on video, but like uh, I just like wouldn't really be that impressive. So didn't bother, but yeah, I just got Frankie here. We're just gonna hang out and chill. Just uh, don't have tons of wood because I was just not not feeling like doing a big fire. So we'll just take this as far as it goes and go inside. Yeah, got some lentils cooking. Eat those plain and yeah, just take her easy, chill. Uh, yeah, just generally being boring. Just camping. The fresh snow and sunshine made for a beautiful day, so I stopped several times along my way back to Haines Junction. I'm speaking to you from an improvised control room in the rear of an American army truck parked away up here on the Soldier's Summit, a high pass on the Canada-Alaska Highway, and where at this moment, some hundred yards from my vantage point, the official opening of this great road is taking place. Surely this road will rank for all time among the greatest engineering feats the world has ever seen. The scenery along the highway is unsurpassed in grandeur. The towering rocky mountains are on all sides. The mighty rivers of the Northland wind their way along the route. But of all the beauty spots to be found, this opening ceremony is taking place in quite the most arresting. From the soldier's summit, we're looking down on the blue-green waters of Lake Kluwani, surrounded by the white ramparts of peaks that tower 10,000 feet above us. Kluwani waters are too deep to freeze, but they're steaming and smoking in the cold and the lake glows like an emerald in a setting of gigantic diamonds. This was the third bear that I had seen that day along my drive, 
And thankfully I was outside the park boundary, so I was able to fly over and respectfully check it out. The first bear I saw ran off the road before I could grab my camera and the second one already had people stopped on the road watching it. It was just sitting on the side of the road eating the ground. And then this one I saw at a distance and it was just hanging out in actually the place I thought I would least likely see a big bear like this. I would expect them along the rivers getting fish or getting berries or foraging for other plants, but I just didn't expect to see them in the mud flats like this. And this one was just digging away and munching on stuff. I couldn't quite tell if it was eating roots or ants or what it was what it was finding there, but it was definitely successful. You can see all the little pock marks where it's dug up. It's spent a lot of time here. I watched it for quite a while with my drone and it didn't care I was there or didn't notice and yeah it was a really really nice experience. There is a territorial campground nearby that has an electric fenced area for tent campers and you are not allowed to sleep in your tent unless you are within the electric fence compound due to the amount of grizzly bears that are in this southwestern portion of the Yukon, getting closer to Alaska. Alaska has a lot denser grizzly bear population than the Yukon does, with this area being the most in pretty much all of the Yukon. I'm not sure what the rules would be if you had a rooftop tent, but I sleep really well at night knowing my walls are made out of solid metal and wood, but it was a really nice experience watching the bear, although I didn't want to hang around for too long. So I headed back to the road and continued south, which as I said was just such an incredible day. The fresh snow definitely made me smile, but even more so that it melted off and didn't stick to the road. But I was really lucky to find a little bit of autumn hanging on. It has been a most glorious autumn up here in the Yukon with more nice weather than I could ever hope for. But now the nights are as long as the days, if not longer, and winter is right around the corner. So each day you never really know what you're going to wake up to. Good morning, Faye. 